right, uh, Dad Random here. Got a question the other day, and it was about the DJI Neo. And um, they're wondering how I got such good video footage. And it's not that I got very good video footage. It's that the system or the process I use, it's just really easy. So what I'm going to do is really quickly just walk you through the steps, show you what you need. Um, and uh, you'll be able to get good footage too. All right, so there's there's just a couple of pieces of software that really make it easy. And the DJI Neo doesn't really have good stabilization right out of the box. So what you need to do is set your Neo up to take the best size image. And that is in 4x3 mode. So the first thing you want to do with your DJI Neo is in your goggles, okay, because you're flying manually, set it up for 4x3. And what that does is it disables your, um, your rock steady. So that's the first thing. So set up in 4x3 mode in your goggles and get it rock steady. All right. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is you need to uh, get gyro flow on your computer. Now, I use a Mac version. You can download it. It's 1.6. It's free, um, and it's really easy to use. So just get a free download get gyro flow, gyro flow on your computer, and that's the next step. So once you've got gyro flow in, let's go ahead and launch it. All right, so um, I've got gyro flow ready to go. All right, we got to get this stuff back up here so you can see it. All right, so this is what gyro flow looks like when... Here, make it big so you can see the whole thing. So this is what Gyroflow looks like, and it's it's really simple. It's not made very uh, uh, to be very difficult, and most of the settings are already uh, set for you. So, uh, so over here you have your file uh, drop. So what you want to do is you want to get a raw file. You want that four by three file. Now sometimes your your Neo is capturing that in multiple files. So what Gyroflow can do is it can combine those two partial files into a single file and then it creates the gyro data. Most people um, will uh, load up individual files and I like to sync them together because I usually put them in a video uh, all together as one flight and then you can cut it up um, but you can just take pieces out of it. Uh, Gyroflow will do what you want it to do. So right now it doesn't have anything uh, anything set up. So we got to look for a file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a file. And this was my, my um, uh, a couple of my flights here. What I want to do is I want to find the one where I was flying over. Go in here when I was doing my budget Neo kit. So these are all files here. I actually took some, uh, some, uh, some still shots too for the thumbnail for this, uh, for this uh, segment. But um, this one right here is one that's already been, it's already been smoothed out. So um, just to show you what that looks like, uh, let's go ahead and play a little bit of that. I should have a segment there it is right here so this is this is a footage that has already been processed through gyro flow and you'll notice right away it gets it's very smooth it's flowy you can actually adjust that flowiness and it does crop down your image a little bit but it looks great i mean you can see once i started to do this i recognized right away that this was the way to process footage so you can see that everything is, the colors are nice. There's nothing that, you don't get that uh, cartoonish look. Um, it looks great, you know. So so that is my gyro flow. And like I said, you can fast forward up into here and you can see that it takes out all that herky-jerkiness and really does a nice job. Now there is, uh, there are, I don't think I locked in my white, white balance here, but you can get a lot of really, I'm going, I think I'm setting it up in manual mode. Um, 
I thought I flew in manual mode from the beginning, but I don't think so. I think I just put it in. So now I'm flying in full manual and you can see how nice and smooth. Yes, you can record um, this footage from the Neo uh, in, uh, in sport mode. So this is, this is in full manual right now, but you can see how nice and clean it is. So let's do that. Let's make it, let's make your footage look like that. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut that one down and we will, uh, we'll get back. We'll go and load up a file. You can see I've, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's, it's really good because the, the gyro flow is basically taking that gyro data and just doing just miracles with it. So right, I'm going to shut that down. So here are my raw files. This was my, that's my stabilized file. We don't want that one. We want the join file. So if I look at this file here really big, let's see if I can, if I can, uh, and it will just like that. So we, we, what we want to do is this is the one that I joined multiple files together. I joined two smaller files um, together. And this is my stabilized finished file. So these two here are the two files that I joined up. And I, I usually see there's a two minute segment and then there's a seven minute segment. I guess for, uh, for example, um, Let's do the two minute segment. It's well, that's the end of the video. So that's not the good stuff. Let's put the seven minute uh, footage in there. So I'm only going to click the one segment now. So we don't have to do that. So usually you can, you can actually bring in both. You can select, um, you can select both files and then bring them in together. And then, then gyro flow will ask you, what do you want to do with those files here? Let's, let's just do that just for fun. So it says right there, it says, do you want to merge them into one video? And, you know, so that's, that's where you have to say, yeah, merge them into a video. So it'll create that video and then it'll take that merged video and then it'll start to uh, render it in ProRes. So, uh, and that's the next step. So let's, 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 um, let's not merge them because that'll take some time. So I'm going to hit cancel. Let's go ahead and find those files again. Let's just, let's get the seven minute file. So I'm going to pull this one in. I'm going to hit open. And this is the beginning. You see it's loading gyro data. And you know you have it uh, loaded correctly when at the very bottom of your screen, the little squiggly lines are going to show up. And that's your different gyroscopic segment. See down the bottom there? So this one, you you know when you screw when it, you don't have gyro data because none of this stuff down below, this X, Y, and Z data, it's not going to show up. So right now, you can already play it in a stabilized format. It's already doing it for you. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that freaking just awesome? Watch this. Let me get it where I'm, where I'm starting to fly around. So that's really the trick. So I've got my footage. Say I, you know, you can, you can choose, uh, I think you can actually, uh, you can actually cut segments out of this one. Um, I'm not going to do it. I'll just, we're just going to keep we're just going to keep this whole thing, all right? So once you you say, okay, this is the this is the segment I want. This is where you need you can do some seg uh, some some switch uh, switcheroos here. Uh, let's see. Um, now, one of the things you'll see over here on the upper left, it says DJI Neo. It actually it actually Gyroflow actually can detect the camera. It it actually gives it a a specific uh, um, code, so then it knows how to deal with the footage. And you can see it's in uh, 30 frames. Um, it's HVEC codec. And so those are all the things that are, that are, it, it, you want to see. And you, so it understands the file that you're looking at. All right. The next thing that's really important is you can actually adjust the smoothness. So you can go up here and you can, you know, it said it was set for 50%. I can make it more smooth than that. So, um, and then I can also lock the horizon. There's a lot of really neat stuff you can do here. Let me move this back to 50% because we already know that that looks really good. Move that back there. Um, but I can push this, this horizon lock, uh, button and then it will, it will even make it nicer. So there'll be no like flowy. It'll be, it'll be. So right here, if I can hit horizon lock, it's now going to lock that horizon. Check this out as soon as. Uh, it uh, does its magic. Now, if, if your computer is like slow, 
<laughs> this could take time. All right. So with with the amount, with the type of with the type of quality that we're going to be asking this thing to to uh, to render, the higher the quality, the more time. But right now it's in horizon lock. So check this out. So now it's locking the horizon. Isn't that cool as crap? It's so great. But that guys, this is the secret, man. You use Gyroflow and you will get amazing video. See, so you see how it's taken that uh, the bank turns out? Um, and it, now if we were recording in 60 frames, it'd be even smoother. All right. Now, some people, um, is it, uh, let's see, do you see? Sometimes people look at it and they take like the horizon lock off. You can do, you can also change the dynamic zooming. So it'll it'll zoom in and zoom out, and uh, so when it it adjusts the image, so because it's always cropping it, that's how it smooths it out. So the dynamic zooming allows for that smooth transition in and out. If you don't want it dynamic zooming, you just take you just set it at static zoom, okay? So it'll just stay static, and it won't move at all. I don't mind it coming in and out. So right there is just a static zoom. So that's pretty amazing, isn't it? Isn't this great? Oh my, I just love, I love this program. It's, it is so cool. So, all right. So there it is right there. I'm going to put it back into, uh, I'm going to put it back into its uh, uh, dynamic zoom. So what it does, so it'll, it'll zoom out when it's, when I'm, when I'm flying steady and it'll give me a bigger picture and then zoom in. So it just, it just ha it has more fun with it, but you really can't see it very much. Um, let's see what I do here. I'm going to go around, but, uh, anyway, isn't that cool? <laughs> a little bit choppy, but, uh, it's, I'm going to set this thing up. So it's going to give me the best quality possible. All right. So there's the, this, this is where, where I'm going to leave it. Okay. We've got it where we want it. Um, the, you can see that all of the, all of the edges are being, are being, uh, captured square. Everything's nice and, uh, and cool. So like I said, you can, you can, you know, cut this up later. So I, 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 uh, I usually process as much of the video as possible. All right. I'm going to stop this right here. Look at that. That is so neat. Guys, remember, this is the DJI Neo <laughs> video. Um, so, uh, so next step is selecting your export settings. And I have, this is critical. Select ProRes. Okay. ProRes is going to give you a super high rendering quality, all right? And this is what's going to take a lot of time, okay? And then you can go, uh, I, I just leave it at HQ, high quality, um, and then and then we leave it right there, okay? Use GPU, GPU encoding if you have an NVIC coder, decoder. Um, I just click it on just in case so the computer doesn't have to overwork and you pretty much can go you go down to the bottom here once you've selected um cuz you can actually select your end point and your start point you see that trim end and I just I I'm I'm I basically told it to to trim it at that point right there so you can drag it out and you know and take the trimming off but yeah you can just trim segments out of here if you want it's it's so powerful this program all right, let's let it uh, let's let it um, get okay. We're we should be ready to go. So now all we got to do is hit export. Now we can then when we get down here to export, we tell it okay. You know where do you want to export it to? Um, and uh, let's see, add rend, add to render create. Yeah, and it should say where it's it should say where it's sending it. Let's see, due to file extras, you need to select the destination folder manually. Click OK to select the destination folder. Okay, all right. So we want, I'm going to put this back in the folder where um, I could put it on my desktop. Let's just put it on my desktop, you know, that's the, so then we know where, it, where it's at and then hit open. All right. Okay, now do you, now watch, <laughs> watch the render. Um, it it's basically says it's going to take 10 minutes to render this, and we're not going to sit and wait. Um, but this thing's cranking it out. You had to understand that this is an M4 Mac. I just got this Mac, and it is really good at, at rendering this, this high-resolution um, ProRes footage. So, yeah, it's, it, right now it's a waiting game. So, all right. That is the process.
pretty much right there. And you guys saw the results. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to render this whole video because I already got, right, I already got it. Okay, I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I do have some of it, all right? But um, yeah, that's that's how that's how simple this process is and how very powerful this program is. And, you know, now we can go and, you know, we can go check out, you know, I can go out and go and check out those files that I've already, you know, I've already rendered. Um, you know, I can go into the, the gyro flow one that I've got set up here. Let me go ahead and we'll just leave the program open. But um, yeah, this this stuff right here is is just absolutely amazing. Just buttery smooth footage, and the just the colors are great. Uh, you know, there's just not much that that uh, <laughs> that you can do more with this footage. Now, there, like I said, that's where I was switching over from from sport mode to manual mode. Yes, you can render. Just remember, set your goggles up uh, in four by three mode. All right, film film your footage. It's gonna look all. It's gonna look shaky. Okay, it's gonna not look very good. And then take that footage and then bring it in, drop it into GyroFlow. You'll you know if your GyroFlow uh, uh, material is correct. Remember um, that you know it it you know you have um, good gyro data when you you see the squiggly lines, okay? Those are your axes basically being corrected uh, right at the bottom right there, all right? So that's it. That's uh, that's basically the magic. And uh, so for you guys that have asked about this, Dad Random basically coming at you, render your Neo footage in GyroFlow and you will have the most wonderful video and you will be so glad. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, a, a secret ability, like Superman with the, with the Neo. Um, but render and ProRes, okay, it takes a little extra time, but it's worth every second. Uh, for uh, for Dad Random and the DJI Neo and Gyro Flow, get your best video. Um, make that make that time uh, behind the sticks count with Gyro Flow. Get it going. Get flying, and then make your footage absolutely buttery smooth. All right, I'm out of here.